President Barack Obama might call this day Equal Pay Day. Women make up about half of the workforce in the United States, but in 2014, many say a woman's salary is still far behind that what a man earns. President Obama said pay inequality hurts families and is bad for business. Other lawmakers disagree. Ebru's Tasmin Mafuz is live to tell us the details. Tasmin. That's right, Logan. Great news for women. Today, President Obama signed two executive orders that would make federal contractors accountable on pay discrimination. Now, it's been more than half a century since President John F. Kennedy signed the Equal Pay Act, but still, still, women are only making 77 cents compared to a dollar of a man. These are the daughters of our nation. They're ambitious and bright, but... Here's the harsh reality. They may earn less money than men in similar jobs just because of their gender. No, if I, what if I did better work than them? Today, President Obama signed two executive orders on equal pay for women. The average full-time working woman earns just 77 cents for every dollar a man earns. For African-American women, Latinas, it's even less. The first allows employees to share their salary information without getting penalized by federal contractors. We've gone through this for 55 years. It's time. This is key because it's how women, like Lily Ledbetter, found out they were getting paid less than men in the same job. The second order requires federal contractors to list all wage-related data by race and gender to the Labor Department. Well, they're oftentimes doing more work for less pay. Even worse, some commentators are out there saying that the pay gap doesn't even exist. Aside from the two executive orders, the Senate will vote on the Paycheck Fairness Act tomorrow, which Congress has failed to pass twice. It's wrong, and uh, it should be, you know, stood against, especially in this country where there's equal rights for everyone. So everybody who cares about this should pay attention to how the Senate votes tomorrow on this pay uh, Paycheck Fairness Act, because the majority of senators support this bill. But two years ago, a minority of Senate Republicans blocked it from getting a vote. If it does pass, it would strengthen penalties against federal contractors for equal pay violations. And even the White House has gender issues. Female White House staffers make 88 cents compared to a dollar that a man makes. And over a course of a woman's career, she loses about $400,000 because of the pay wage gap. It's really unfortunate. And it seems like a lot still needs to be done. Hopefully, this is a step towards making, uh, to try to improve inequality. But looks like small step better than nothing. Logan, back to you. Ebrews Tasmin Mofuz reporting live tonight. Thank you so much for that report.